Hey guys, Jake here from Matt Kite. Here to talk to you guys about one of the most important parts of kiteboarding. That is the kite pump. Over here on the wall, we have lots of different kite pumps. So let's kind of go through what makes them different uh, and figure out which one's the right kite pump for you. Um, so in years past, all kite pumps were uh, basically made the same. They weren't very exciting. They weren't super fun to engage with, uh, but they got the job done, especially they were better than the old uh, hand pumps uh, that you had to hold with two hands like a balloon pump, if you guys remember that. Um, this is the iteration most people are familiar with. Uh, it's a shorter pump, um, pretty standard hose, not very uh, sleek, not very pretty, but functional. Then the new pump design came along. Most brands these days are using the same design. It's like they all come from the same factory or something like that. Um, this right here is the Liquid Force standard size pump. Um, as you can see, this employs some uh, really nice geometry. You can see right here that the uh, foot pegs are facing towards you, so your feet very comfortably fit on it. Um, it does have an ergonomic handle. It's got this little pump gauge right here on the top, so you can see the PSI that you're inflating your kite to. Um, it does come with a little bit of a more flexible hose. Um, overall, it's just a very nice feeling pump. Um, you'll want to put the plug in to have it uh, with the dual pump feature. When you're pumping up to a higher PSI, you're able to remove that plug. That's going to make it basically a one-way pump. Um, it's going to move a little bit less volume. It's going to make it easier to achieve higher PSIs. So that's one of three pumps that Liquid Force offers. Um, they then offer a larger pump. If we drop down here to the floor, you'll see that this pump right here is a 2.9, let's just call it a three liter pump. Um, this pump is, is really great for anybody, let's say like five foot 11 or above. Um, if you're shorter than that, you might find um, that when you pull the pump all the way up, it's, it's gonna be a little bit high, a little bit uncomfortable. So you might need to bury the feet. Um, if you wanna avoid that, just get a standard size pump. Um, this has all the same bells and whistles as the first liquid force pump we talked about. Um, it's just the taller version. And I guess it's red if that's important to anybody. One of the, the first brands to come out with this taller pump was WMFG. We really like this pump. Um, on the 2.0 and the newly released 3.0, they include this black flexi hose. Um, this is a longer lasting hose. It's prone to kinking less if you twist it up. Um, but again, no, no hose, um, if you don't take care of it, is gonna survive uh, multiple seasons. So it really is important when you're putting away your pump to try to give it a fold like this right here. Don't take the hose and wrap it around your kite pump. Don't bend it around the pump. Um, that will kink it. This is a much better option. Um, with WFMG, it also has this screw-on cap right here. You're going to take that and screw it on. It makes it less likely that it's going to pop off. It's a little bit unique. They also come with a whole bag of accessories um, for different pump adapters. So it doesn't matter what make or model your kite is, this pump will work with it. North also has a tall pump, the exact same geometry as the pumps we've talked about, and a shorter pump um, or standard size. Um, the one thing that North does differently is they have this valve adjuster right here. That's gonna make it a two-way pump to one-way pump. Other than that, exactly the same, except it's blue. Nash, if we look up, they have also employed um, this new pump geometry. It's just yellow. Cabrina also now uses this new pump um, and they have a taller style. Um, lastly, we have the Liquid Force Kite Pump right here. Um, this is gonna be a two liter tall pump. So basically this is moving the same amount of air that the original Liquid Force Pump we talked about does. Um, however, this pump is gonna be really great for pumping up uh, things to a higher PSI. Uh, things you might do that with include a inflatable stand-up paddleboard. Uh, not the most practical kite, or a pump for kiteboarding, um, but it's there. I know I said lastly, but we've actually got one more pump to talk about. That is the WMFG 2.0 double pump right here. Basically, this takes two of their tall pumps, sticks them together. This moves a lot of air. It's not going to necessarily be, be double because it's all exiting from the same size hole, so you can just only move so much air from the same size aperture. However, uh, it is just a behemoth of a pump. It looks cool and imposing on the beach, and if you've got to have the biggest and the best, this is the pump for you. Hey guys, this has been Jake with Matt Kite. Thanks for checking out Why Buy in 45. Be sure to check back as we're going to be uploading new product videos every week.